Next up, Microsoft reports that Microsoft wants to buy Discord for over 10 billion clams. That sounds like a lot for Discord. I feel like that's too much. They paid for for uh, Minecraft was four, two point seven. I want to say two point seven for Minecraft. Let me look. Yeah, that, that seems like a better deal. Did, didn't uh, Disney? Wow, didn't Disney pay like <laughs> seven billion for for Marvel or something ridiculous that's, like that? It's quite a while ago though. Now I'm just saying, ten billion dollars for what's essentially a chat room. Seems like doesn't, a lot. doesn't get you as much as it used to. It, what is the tech? Is there like patented technology in Discord? I'm asking as someone who doesn't know. No, it's about the the amount of users that they have currently. Is it about users? It's not about patents. That's the question. I mean, Slack is basically the same thing, more or less. Oh. I mean, I'm on. I downloaded Slack because PingPod uses Slack to communicate with its. We members. use Slack at work. I understand that. Right. And I know they, but Microsoft already has Teams, which is Slack. So why yeah, do they Teams, need another and Slack or the same thing? I don't know yeah. if Discord is. I I wouldn't say Discord is Teams. That's what I'm saying. Like, are they going to merge Teams and Discord together? It's about what, the audience. It's about the audience. That what they have audience? And the voice communications on what Discord. Audience? On Discord. Discord, Discord is huge. huge. What are they going to do with that audience? They're going to maybe they could integrate that whole thing into the Xbox network. I think. You know, Xbox Live and use the voice I, chat. I don't know. I mean, all that I, shit. There's I, I a lot of options. Either. There's a lot of people on I, there. And I, again, I'm as, I have no idea what Microsoft does with Discord right. that's different than what they currently have that's worth $10 billion. I think it's the people. I'm not saying that there isn't something good for Microsoft from Discord, but $10 billion is a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a technology, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But ten billion dollars is a lot. Right. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. So why ten billion dollars? I don't know. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's fake rumor. You know, it was, it was, I remember Bic was gonna buy Harry's, and even that was only like one billion dollars. I, I think I think there's more upside to Discord than than that. I don't I, I know, but it seems like a steal by comparison. <laughs> right. I'm looking up how many users Discord has. I'm sure they've they've got some play in place. You don't just I mean, and you say Discord has an audience, but what's the overlap audience between Xbox users and Discord users? There's a quarter billion users on Discord. Okay. But what do you what are they gonna do with that? Are they just buying their IP addresses? I don't understand. And I mean, they make Discord, uh, you know, that makes money, can generate money. You, people pay to, for those servers for upgrades and stuff. And they do they have all kinds, of course. Yeah. What was Discord's revenue last year? Um, it's a private company, so they don't have to disclose that. I don't know if they do. Mm. I don't know. But I do know I want to hear about the new Xbox Live headset or Xbox uh, Series headset. Xbox Live anymore. Yeah, what did they call the headset? Why did, why, why did they change that name? Can we talk about that? Yeah, I don't know. That was a dumb idea. What was wrong What's with wrong Xbox with Live? It was fine. Short, four letters. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Network is so, like, not, I don't it's know. It's fun. It's, it's Altman's best thing. film. <laughs> not fun. No, it's not fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That seemed really unnecessary for them to change change the name on that one. I get that they're getting rid of gold or whatever. That's the at least the rumor that they're getting rid of gold and going to Game Pass or whatever ultimate. But but Live is a brand. Like people know what Xbox Live is. It's a thing. I don't think like PlayStation Network has the same thing about it. It's just like the PlayStation Network is what you have to pay for right xbox live is like an ecosystem and it's got a great reputation it's right. got the reputation of the premier online gaming service it's weird that they changed it, it, it is. yes how's the headset wombat how's the new xbox series is it what I is it called new, is that what it's called did you say it's the xbox headset i think it's literally what it's called xbox network it's, headset yeah and it's wireless and it connects to the Xbox Series X and I guess probably the Xbox One the same way that your controller connects. You push that button on the front of the console and you push the button on the headset and they pair up and that's all you have to do. And it takes no time to set up. It's pretty cool. And it's got two knobs on each ear. Once you could balance between 
chat and game sound if you want to if you're playing with other people and then there's just a regular volume one on the other side all of the equalizer stuff is in console so you could adjust all that stuff in there if you want to play around with uh with what you're hearing and it comes with this is where a lot of people were complaining it comes with uh six months of the dolby thing because you have to buy the license for dolby stuff right 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 which is fifteen dollars, and a lot of people are like, "If I'm buying the official headset, why don't you just give me? It should come with the license." But I'll let you know in six months if I feel like I'm really missing out on anything after my uh, after my trial ends. So, right. are, you, are you thinking you're going to pony up for that? I don't know. Like I said, I'll wait the six months, and if I really find that the sound quality has dropped so considerably. Then I guess I would pay the fifteen dollars. It's a lifetime license, but I don't know. I, I, I was gonna say I don't know if I, with my terrible hearing, am gonna notice the difference. I just wanted a really for me. It was about getting a good chat headset that was wireless and easy to turn on and off and charge. So right, Brandon in the chat says that the Dolby audio isn't that much better than Microsoft's own magic that they put into that thing. So. Yeah. Don't feel don't feel pressured. Yeah, and I don't. And it sounds great. And I've been playing all my games with it. I've been playing with all the Fortnite dads with it. I like being able to adjust because with the, none of my other headsets, I could adjust their volume and the game volume with a knob on the side of my head like Lobot. So I, I kind of dig that. That's kind of fun, actually. So knob head. Yeah, knob head. Great. Uh, yep. All right, let's mm-hmm. move on to Nintendo. More rumors about the new Nintendo Switch. 4K on TVs, and it's going to be using uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's DLSS. So it looks like this thing is 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 fact at this point. Like, this thing is coming this year. They're really just thinking of, like, the question now is how much it's going to cost. And probably like what three fifty? We think. I was gonna say four hundred. Four hundo. It's getting expensive in here. Um, but I don't, I don't know. know. Did, they I f- ju- did they just slip it in at the two ninety nine and get rid of the standard one? Like you, then you just have your light. They're they're gonna they're gonna push out the two ninety nine one, right? You would that think one's so. Not yeah. Exist. Right. So they might just insert this one at that same price point. If they can, I don't see why they couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know, like, really how much, what is this kind of upgrade going to do for games on TV? Like, is it really going to matter? It's just upscaling the resolution, right? It's just, it's just playing, it's the same game at a different resolution. I don't know if it's going to make much difference, but I'm going to buy one. We'll find out then. Yeah, because. Because Dash dropped my uh, launch switch this weekend. Uh oh. That's now his. That's going to be his switch, because part of that that little part on the back of the switch, where like uh, it's got all those little tiny pieces of plastic. Mine doesn't have those tiny pieces of plastic at the top anymore. It's lighter now. It's lighter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to like remove some components from my um, Oculus Quest controller. Because when I use it with ping pong, it's too heavy. It's too, it's, I've weighed my, my table tennis paddle in real life and the controller with the adapter and it's like 50 grams too heavy. So I learned that you, you can swap out the battery for a lighter battery and you take the battery case off and that takes off eight grams. I'm still like 40 grams over though. It's too many grams. You weigh things in grams? Well, when they, when they're, yeah. Well, the way Chibi does it is he takes crackers. And he piles them up and one I gram, mean, one gram cracker. And it weighs, oh, this weighs more than five gram I, crackers. I didn't realize we were on the gram me- measuring scale here. That's, what, my, that's why we were, we were doing that. Yes. You know, table tennis is like European and stuff. So okay. we, we weigh the paddles I, and grams. I had no idea whether we were on metric or uh, US. Uh, I don't know. I turned my scale on and it was grams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I wasn't kidding about the table tennis thing. I weigh myself in grams, so I get it. <laughs> right. Teddy grams. <laughs> All right. Let's. I love Teddy grams. <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. How about Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> is, is Cinnamon Toast Crunch ruined now? Like, is the, can they ever bounce back from that? I, you know what? Here's 
that's the thing. Oh, it's a delicious cereal. Yeah, a it's cinnamon toast crunch. It's, it'll it'll be fine. Also, it has nothing to do with the box. It was it was the store's issue, not cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, was it? How, wait, well, how? <laughs> Somebody opened from, the bag. No, I mean there was like rat droppings in the bag too. Clearly, a rat got in there, and that's where the shrimp tails came from. He br- the rat brought the shrimp tails to the bag of the cinnamon yeah. toast crunch. There were there was like string and all sorts of stuff. Oh, in the bed. he was having a fucking party in there. He was setting yeah. up shop inside the cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, that's a good place to live, actually. Yeah, I don't think it was a factory thing. I think it was a store thing. That's that's where I'm going with this. Right. Having yeah. So too bad because shrimp tails are high in calcium, and that could probably help young bones. I know. I think, when I make I shrimp, we're gonna get we're gonna get a shrimp based uh, cereal out of this. <laughs> Probably not. I probably already have it in Japan. I once bought, I, you know, I had to buy milk at the supermarket once and I, mm-hmm. I, you know, it's all fucking Japanese. I, I picked one up and I was like, oh, this looks like milk. Took it home and I have my cereal and it like tasted fucking horrible. And I asked Mrs. Cheapy, I was like, what, this is, I mean, it looks like milk. Like what is, it, it says milk on it. And I know what the milk kanji for milk is. And she's like, yeah, but this is milk that's made out of like crab shells and shit. And I was like, oh, yeah, I just pour that shit right down the drain. Like I'm not, I no, no thanks. And she's like, well, it's high in calcium. Like yeah, yeah, it's a high in disgustingness. Anyway, speaking of disgustingness, no, this is not disgusting. This it's time for switch ludes with Uncle Banky since we're in Nintendo, and strangely enough, that's where all the fucking hentai games are. They're on this Nintendo Switch. Uh, syn- syner- synergia is a dystopian cyberpunk visual novel. Uh, and Whipsmart Banky says that he he liked the plot, he thought it was interesting, and it is Blade Runner and Ghost in the Shell inspired. Uh, it's got stylish 2D manga art, and there is some brief nudity. Wombat is now covering it up with uh, something here. I can't read. There's some brief nudity, uh, and he says, and light sexual themes, but nothing overt or excessive. I can't tell if he's disappointed or, you know, just telling us the facts here. Um, he says that it's a bit on the short side and feels like it's over too soon, but he enjoyed it a lot better on his second replay after seeing both outcomes. Looking forward to the free DLC later this year. That's Synergia. I think that's how you say it from uh, that's Uncle Banky's special review for you. Cool. I am so glad we did the VR corner up. At yeah, the top of course. Of the show. Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. I would fall hard asleep if you well, started talking about that shit now. Well, it also wouldn't be ten twenty at night because we wouldn't have spent that time talking. This okay. is how math works. This is how the cag bag works. We're here already. Eight uh, bit Jer writes in and asks if we've tried Outbreak in Call of Duty. Highly recommended. I have not played any Call of Duty. Warzone in like two weeks. I've been very busy with the, the, well, I just got that VR shit. So no, I've had that for a week, I guess now. Yeah. So uh, I've been busy with that. Um, I got a little consulting gig. So like, I haven't even been doing my DJing. Mrs. Chibi pointed out that I haven't been DJing lately because I've been busy consulting and uh, not playing any video games except for VR. In like two weeks. Uh, at Johnny Cisco writes, Cisco 52 writes in and asks, what are your thoughts on Retromania? Looks great. That's the uh, the WWF game. That, the old arcade game that they reimagined and took out, you know, there's no WWF guys. Or maybe the Road Warriors are in. Somebody's in. Well, they got somebody in there. But I want, I want to play that. I spent a lot of quarters on that game. No one else seemed pretty interested in that though. <laughs> I uh, fun. we it talked fun. about it i think like a couple of weeks ago and i was like this looks cool and you guys are like oh, it looks lame it, it needs to have online play i don't know if it's got that uh at andy film writes in and asks whatever happened to stack soap do you remember stack soap wombat of course i remember stack soap they were one of our stack soap an early sponsor of the cat cast do you know what happened they went out of business i don't know they're i tried thriving? they're thriving I don't think so. I tried Googling them and like I They're found, on every shelf in America? No, like I found some places selling it, but I can't tell. Like Stack and Fit Tools and Toys is a website, but it looks like this could be shady. Like if I click on buy now, 
Oh, it's on, it just sends me to Amazon and it says unavailable. So I think it's gone. I'd say Stack Soap is gone. And mm -hmm. I see an M uh, Bim Bam mm -hmm. thread about it. I guess they sponsored them too. Nice. They probably did a lot better. Sold more soap through those guys.